show you a great way to do a push-up. I call this a roller push-up. We're going to need a 6 inch diameter roller, some push-up handles, and some floor. Let me tell you a few reasons why I think this is a great way to do a push-up. First of all, we're going to place our feet on the roller, as you'll see when I demonstrate. The placement of your body on the roller allows your body to shift slightly back and forwards while you're lifting your body up and down. This keeps your shoulder in perfect alignment with your position on the handle, putting less stress on the shoulder and making it an effective exercise. Second, we can vary the difficulty of the exercise depending on where we place the roller. If we place the roller just under our knee, this becomes a good beginner's exercise. But if you're more advanced, you can bring the roller all the way down to the front of the foot. And this becomes a really tough, advanced exercise. The first variation we're going to do is a wide push-up. And we're going to do this at the advanced level with the roller all the way back. So placement of the handles on the floor. We're going to establish the uh, handle placement just a little bit wider than our shoulders. And if you were to place your hands out like this, you notice the natural curve of the palm is at an angle down. We want to duplicate that angle with the placement of the handle. That's going to put less stress on the wrist and on the shoulder and lets the body move the way it naturally wants to move. Alright, so establishing our position with the handle and I like to just place the heel of my hand along the top of the roller and not even use an opposing thumb grip that doesn't twist the wrist and lets us really just focus on using the muscles we're trying to target the chest and the triceps so we're establishing our posture establishing our grip on the handle we're going to place the roller at the tops of the feet. From this position, keeping your body in good straight alignment, we're going to lower ourselves all the way down and up. And you'll notice that my body is shifting backward and forward. As I come down, the roller push it, lets me shift back. As I come up, I move forward and I'm in perfect alignment with the handle. Notice how my shoulders stay right above the handle during the exercise. Before we change the setup, I want to show you how to use this same grip for beginners. All right. We're going to use the same hand position I just showed you. This time, we're going to place the roller down, just, just below the knees. And this still allows your body to shift back and forth. Still have that perfect alignment, but because of the placement of the roller, you're lifting a fraction of your body weight making this a much easier exercise. As you get a little stronger, you can move it a little bit further down and increase the difficulty. This exercise can be as easy or as hard as you need it to be. That's one of the things I like about it. Now, let's uh, play around with some variations on the roller push-up. First variation we can do is we can position the handles back to the side and we're going to do a shoulder tricep push-up here with this movement the first movement our arms are coming elbows are coming out from the body at an angle this time the elbows are going to come down by the body we're going to push up like that the change in the position of the, the uh, handle relative to your body and the movement of the arm relative to the body changes the focus of the exercise. 
When we're coming here, we're going to be engaging our shoulders, and we're going to be engaging our triceps. The chest is still going to be involved, but to a much lesser extent. Here, we're really stretching out those pecs. You can see those muscles stretching out as we begin to come back and then push forward. This becomes a much more intense exercise for the chest when the elbows come out to the side and you're doing a push-up like that. We're doing this. It becomes a shoulder push-up and a tricep push-up. So we want to position the handles to, again, mimic that natural movement of the body. So when we're in this position, we want to have the handles down at an angle. We're going to lower ourselves like so. Elbows in line with the body down, pushing up like that. shoulder push-up with the roller. All right. The last variation I'm going to show you is one that I really like and this targets the inner chest and they're all the way out here. For this one, we're going to do a reverse grip on the roller. All right. From that position, we're establishing ourselves here. We're lowering ourselves, and our elbows come out to the side. We push up. Very intense push up. 